Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video we learned about block pattern categories and in this video we are going to go ahead and dig further into how we can break them into smaller components when we are dealing with multiple patterns. So this is our block pattern that we created as you can see okay and currently it looks really untidy you know sh shoving everything into the content and then probably even if I put that in single line doesn't look good to me to be honest. So what I'm going to do is basically when we have multiple patterns uh, I'm going to go to my theme and inside of my inside of my template parts and I'm going to create a directory and I'll name it as patterns. Okay and this was the cover pattern so I'm just going to name it as cover.php and then I'm just going to copy the top part which is this and just put it over here like cover oops cover block pattern template okay great so we have a pattern available over here all I have to do is just copy this go to editor copy I mean you could copy it from here as well but we made some changes out since the last video so I'm just going to use that paste it here awesome so now remember that we don't have to escape this uh, when we are actually using it in template like this okay now I'm gonna get rid of this I don't need it and what we're gonna do next is so what I wanted to do is basically I want to go ahead and use it as a template so we already know that we have a function available called get template part but the problem is that the get template part is actually going to echo out if I use like get template part over here and then you know uh, put the path of this particular file it's just going to echo out this stuff and if you notice we don't want to echo here we want that to be returned so how do we do that actually so what we're going to do is we'll use ob start function and then we'll call this get template part get template part and then the path of that so where is it let's take a look so it's inside of the template parts and then patterns and then just cover you don't have to put PHP over there okay so we've got that so now what OB start is going to do is it will start the buffering so OB is for output buffering so OB output buffering starts so what this is going to do is this is not going to echo out anything that it sees between the OB start and the OB end clean okay and then since we want to ensure that whatever has been echoed out we store that in 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 a particular variable then I'm just going to call it like cover content and then OB OB get content that's it so what this is going to do is it's going to start the buffering from here so it won't echo out anything here but at this point is going to store that value inside of the cover content and that's exactly what we want so I'm just going to pass it here and that's it so let's take a look if it still works so I'm going to go to visual editor I'm going to get rid of this I'm going to update it okay so now I'm going to click on the plus look at the pattern and voila we still have it awesome great perfect which means this worked and just take a look how clean this looks I have got my entire content into a separate template and then I can make edits I can see it looks really really pretty I mean I can also uh, so you know that's it's really good and uh, because we can have like multiple patterns what I would recommend that instead of doing this here you can actually put that in a function so we'll say public function get pattern content and this is going to take the template path and then I'm going to paste it here and what I'm going to do is over here we can say cover content 
equals this. So I'm going to use the this keyword to get hold of this function and then I can take the whole thing, replace it with template path and then put that here oops put, and then also return cover content right okay great uh, and I can just make like pattern content I think this will be better yeah great so now this is it's very good because now I can have register multiple of them and they can all be this is more neat and clean so cover pattern okay if I want more pattern I can create more like do a copy paste over here and then change whatever I want and then I can add more okay awesome so let's take a look refresh does it still work so click on pattern and click on it yes it does it works perfect so now we can register a couple more if you want so I'm just going to uh, create another pattern over here so let's say I go ahead and take a group block and I'm going to add columns and then I'm going to go with this one like 50-50 and then I'm going to add the heading block heading oops heading 1 and then we can have some lorem ipsum and I'm going to paste it here it's too much I guess I can prob probably remove some content out of it okay and then this can be like heading to Okay, great. So I'm going to go ahead and update that and then I'm going to just go ahead and copy this, paste it here and I'll name it as two column pattern aquila two column and again two column oops with heading and text yeah and where should I keep it let's rename this as columns this can be columns see how easy this is it's already registering the block and I can just keep adding new uh, you know categories in this array and it'll automatically create one so let's name it as columns I'm gonna put that here oops yeah this will be in columns and the content will be oops, two columns content awesome and then it needs to have a template as well so we had one for cover let's create for two columns so I'm gonna name it as two columns dot PHP and I'm gonna just I'm a, like a copycat so <laughs> I'm just going to copy the heading and name it as two oops two columns block pattern template and then of course make sure you change the name to two columns so the name of the block pattern has been changed uh, description the category we've got we're using reusing this template again for our work which is brilliant and then the next thing we need to do is basically copy this and then paste it over here so patterns and then two columns okay uh, and just to let you know that when you copy the code make sure that you go on top like for example here you make sure you go on top and make sure you correct one is selected before you copy it make sure that only our Aquila two columns pattern is selected which is this okay great and now if I click on the and now if I click on the plus icon if I click on patterns 
there you go now inside of cover we have got the cover one and inside of columns we have got the columns one so I can click on that and there you go it gets added automatically which is brilliant awesome so this is amazing because now I can register multiple patterns and just use it throughout the site without having to worry about anything okay the last thing we want to do is basically ensure that this shows on our front page so currently this is our front page and we don't really have anything over here we just have the get header and get footer so what I'm going to do is I'll go to my page.php which is this one and uh,